What the heck is account abstraction? Let's do some quick review. There are two types of accounts in Ethereum, externally owned accounts, which are controlled by a single private key, and contract accounts, which are smart contracts that contain data and code. Access to assets in an EOA is fully controlled by a single private key, whereas for contract accounts, access is fully programmable. Now some account holders have asked, can my account have the same programmability as contract accounts do? This would actually help fix a lot of user experience pain points in Ethereum. Let's see what some of the UX pain points that affect EOAs are, starting with, users must always hold an ETH balance for any type of interaction. So if someone sends you some tokens, and your ETH balance is zero, you can't easily pay for a simple cup of coffee, since you also need ETH to pay gas fees for the transaction. This isn't great UX, and affects user onboarding. Also, it is difficult for users to batch transactions. We are still at the point where each simple token swap on Uniswap requires multiple transactions and numerous clicks. Lastly, and probably most important UX pain point to fix, is poor security. Your private key essentially acts as a single point of failure. If lost, it can't be recovered again, and if stolen, your funds are immediately compromised. This is terrible user experience. Account abstraction allows users to add more flexibility, security, and programmability into their accounts, with the end goal being much better user experience via the introduction of smart contract wallets. Now, account abstraction and smart contract wallets have been around for some time, but there is a popular proposal called ERC-4337, which is pushing forth a new, standardized, fully decentralized flavor of account abstraction. Out of the three UX pain points we identified, let's do a deep dive on one. How is poor security UX fixed by smart contract wallets? As an example, meet Bob, who is an EOA. Bob's private key directly owns a balance of 2.1 ETH and a valuable pudgy penguin. The thing is, if Bob's key becomes compromised, so does his ownership, in the fact that anyone with his private key can access his assets and drain his wallet, essentially burning his address forever. Now, meet Alice. She also owns valuables that she wants to protect, and she doesn't want Bob's experience. This is where smart contract wallets can help her. Alice can create her own smart contract wallet and program it with any rules that she wants. So, for each of her assets, her smart contract wallet can look like this. Number one, only transfer my wrapped CryptoPunk NFT if five out of six digital signatures are provided, else reject the transaction. Number two, only transfer ETH to the addresses I pre-approve, else reject. Alice can even program in her own custom recovery, such as providing a digital signature of her fingerprint to gain access back to the account. That's pretty cool. So, Alice can now keep her valuable assets safe, and she will forever be represented by the smart contract wallet on-chain, which is fantastic user experience. Essentially, smart contract wallets help solve a lot of the UX issues we identified and more. Do you want to learn more about ERC-4337? Visit the Alchemy Account Abstraction Learning Hub. Subscribe to this channel for more technical explanations on ERC-4337, and start developing now. Alchemy's Account Abstraction Tools Beta is live.